What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Richie Ruckus. Yay! We're back here today on Monday. I hope everybody had a good Mother's Day weekend. Hope everybody took care of mom and looked out for her for everything she does for you. I do a video almost every day this week. I'm expecting some packages later this week. I'm going to do the videos on them, some unboxings, some other stuff. Um, my Asia is going to be joining us this week. We're going to be doing, we're going to be playing some type of challenge or game. And we're also going to dive into the Kylie Jenner lip kit. Before we go any further, make sure you guys, if you already don't, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you guys follow me on all social, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Today we're going to be jumping into a pickup that I got this past weekend. There's not really much to say about the shoe. I'm not going to go into a review. There's been a couple other videos on them already. I picked these up Saturday. I walked in the Kicks USA on South Street about 6.30 at night, and these were still sitting on shelves. Um, you see the box. You already know what it is. It's the Jordan 4 Pure Money. It's a great shoe. I think it's going to be the best Jordan release for the summer. I think this is definitely, um, definitely one of the best sneakers for summer, hands down, all around. Um, very good job. They did a very good job on the leather quality on this shoe. I was actually kind of worried that they were, um, that they were going to half-ass the leather on this shoe. You know, on the upper, above the, uh, you know, the lace locks, it's more of like a synthetic, uh, leather. It's not as, um, good quality as the rest of the shoe, but it's still top-notch sneaker. Um, the chrome accents, the silver accents, you know, are really hitting on this shoe. I love it on the back, on the heel tab, and on, on the laces. Standard Jordan 4, upside down air Jordan symbol on the tongue. The thing that's really cool about this Jordan 4 that's a little bit different than others is the pure money on the back of the heel tab. You see it right there. Um, not really much to say about it. Um, Jordan did a great quality with this. Um, the leather, like I said, is top notch. I love an all white sneaker for the summer. Um, I'm going to be doing a top five, a top five sneakers for the summer. These won't be on there, um, although I feel like they are probably going to be number one for the summer. Um, because my top five is going to be, you know, sneakers you could pick up right now. And although these right now are sitting, they may not be sitting a few weeks, a few months from now. But I love the, um, the liner on the inside. What they did with this pair, if you wear black socks with Jordans, you see it happen a lot. Or even white socks. The fuzzies from your socks get off on the inside. Not going to happen with this liner. Um, it's like the complete opposite of the royalty. It's white leather, opposed to the black nubuck. Silver accents, opposed to the gold. If the royalty had a complete opposite, it would be the pure money for. I think Nike did a great job. Jordan Brand did a great job. I'm actually surprised they're kind of sitting. So summertime's right around the corner. All white sneakers are a must. Um, I know most people like rocking a low all white Air Force One in the summer, but this sneaker is definitely, definitely on my list and gonna be in my rotation for all summer long. The North Carolina Jordan 11 Lowe's. These two Jordans are going to be in my rotation all summer long. I mean, I do like to traditionally wear a low top. Low top. Mm -hmm. Shorts and stuff like that. But you can get away with a Jordan 3, Jordan 4. Um, because of the, you know, the mid cut of the sneaker. Um, there's not really much to say, guys. I thought for the price point of 190 you know, that's what Jordans are costing these days. But... I feel like this is the first time in a while, I feel like this is the first time in a while that the quality of the sneaker actually matches up with the price point based off Jordan brand. It's just really crazy to me how Jordans are sitting. I mean, I think it's a combination of overproducing and Adidas just being the hype machine right now that they are. It's just taking all attention away from Jordans. The fact that the 11 lows are still sitting boggles my mind. Motorsport 4 is sitting. Now, I know the Motorsport 4 quality was nowhere near as good as this. But still, that's just a salt, such a sought-after colorway that I feel like it's crazy that they're sitting. That's it. I'm not going to get too much in more in the sneaker. I'll be coming back with an unboxing video tomorrow. Um, I'm also going to be doing top five top five sneakers under $100 later this week. Make sure these guys are subscribed. Make sure these guys hit that thumbs up. Until next time, I'm Richie Ruckus. Peace.